In the last video, I illustrated the envelope theorem, offering a proof and a couple of applications. One to the marginal utility of income, and the second one to a less obvious application to derive Roy's identity. I wasn't done, and I wasn't even close to done in showing the applications and the applicability of the envelope theorem to microeconomic theory. Therefore, I need an entire video to show additional applications of the envelope theorem and demonstrate its wide applicability in microeconomics. In particular, in this video, I'm going to use the envelope theorem to say something about marginal cost. I'm going to derive the well-known Shepard's Lemma. I will show the relationship between the envelope theorem and how to get Hicksian demand in an unconventional way. I will derive Hotelling's Lemma and I will show you something about direct profit maximization and how to obtain factor demands. Now, this is a lot of burden to put on one theorem, but as I hope you will see, the envelope theorem is up to the task. Suppose that we're, we're in producer theory now. In fact, we have the cost function. Now, that's going to be the minimum of this objective here. We're going to minimize cost subject to obtaining a given output. So, let's ask ourselves, how might we obtain a marginal cost? And that's a pretty useful quantity. Now, you might be interested in knowing, you might just be able to take the derivative of your cost function if you have that in hand. But, another, an alternative way of obtaining your marginal cost can be gotten through the envelope theorem. So let's go ahead and write out the Lagrangian. If we want to get a derivative like this, see we're taking the derivative of a min, um, optimized objective function with respect to a parameter, what we can do is take the partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to that parameter, and just evaluate at the optimized value. So let's do that. Partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to y, it's just going to be our Lagrange multiplier. We evaluate at the optimum. That makes it equal through the envelope theorem to our marginal cost. Mu is our marginal cost. And so that's a really neat, interesting result that just pops out of the envelope theorem. And you may think that that is uh, about all that one theorem can get us uh, when we just start playing around with it. But nope, I'm going to go ahead and apply the envelope theorem once again to this Lagrangian and we'll see another key interesting result. So let's take the derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to, let's say, the wage. Ah, but it's not just A. I'll remember that this is the envelope theorem, and the way we use it is we evaluate at the optimum. This is a conditional factor demand, and if we go over here and we see, and we connect the equalities that the envelope theorem allows us to connect, we take the derivative of the cost function with respect to the wage, we get our conditional factor demand. We do it with capital as well, just with respect to the rental rate of capital, and this is what's known as Shepard's Lemma. This is another big result in uh, microeconomic theory, and it just pops right out of the envelope there. Through another argument, you can get that the cost function is a concave function which means that the second derivative is, uh, is negative. So, what can we do from this? Well, we can go ahead and take the second derivative with respect to the cost function. Through Shepard's lemma, that's equal to, and because we have this concavity, we've shown a, a conditional factor demands slope downward. When you raise the wage, the firm will actually demand less. So that's just a nice little corollary from this. Another thing that you can do is we can consider a Hicksian problem. It is exactly the cost minimization that the firm has, mathematically identical. And so if we took the derivative of that minimized objective function, let's call that the expenditure function, is going to be the minimized expenditure function as uh, to attain a given level of utility. We take the derivative of that just by an analog to Shepard's lemma, we, we will get the demand curve from that problem, and that's the Hicksian demand. 
By a similar argument, this expenditure function is also concave, and if we take another derivative, we can show that this demand curve also slopes downward. So this is our sixth application of the envelope there. And we're going to be thinking about a setting where we're maximizing, by choosing capital and labor, profit. This is going to be what we'll call the direct profit maximization problem. Now one thing that you might get out of this problem is the maximized objective function. Profits. Now this will be our indirect profit function came from this optimization. And what we can say is that once we have this indirect profit function, we can apply the envelope theorem to it because it is an objective function. Notice this isn't a constrained optimization, but the envelope theorem also works in the, un in the unconstrained optimization world as well. So, let's take the derivative of the objective function with respect to price. But, the envelope theorem, if we're going to apply it, we need to evaluate at the optimum. What that means is that we, get, we plug in our factor demands, and what we see is that this is the optimum level of output. Now this is going to be our supply function. This is going to be the optimum level of output from, uh, or as a function of the output price and the input prices. So there is the supply function. You think this one has a name too? It sure does. This is Hotelling's Lemma. And there are other envelope theorem results in here. We could also take the derivative of the profit function with respect to the wage. That'll give us negative L. Ah, but that's not just any negative L. We plug it, we evaluate at the optimum our unconditional factor demands. This is a way to get all sorts of different results. And whenever you have an objective function and you have a notion of what problem it came from, you can just go back to the original problem, take a look at what you used to optimize, take the partial derivative of that with respect to whatever parameter is of interest, evaluate at the optimum, and bang, you have some comparative statics with respect to how your objective function moves around. These are just seven examples. I just did the factor demand there as well, three of which have names. These had names on them because they were difficult to prove before the envelope theorem came around and made it so much easier to do. So, if you have an appreciation for the envelope theorem, you can really do a lot of really good, solid, analytical microeconomics.